Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here is a video on how I style my short medium hair and this kind of natural glam look. So I'm going in with um, Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection. Is that right? Collection Lasting Perfection? Yeah. Um, and I'm just dotting over that, um, over my pigmentation, scarring, spots, etc. Um, and this is obviously on cleansed, moisturised skin. So I'm just dabbing that in, mainly onto my cheeks. And then I'm going in with the Ordinary um, Full Coverage Foundation. Um, I think it's in like light, <laughs> light yellow gold or something. Um, and I'm just um, putting that over my face and blending that in with my Real Techniques brush. This isn't strictly a foundation brush, but it's pretty much all I've ever used it for. And then I'm going in with a new product. Um, this is the Flower um, Light Illusion Concealer, I think it's called. And um, I'm just popping that on my cheeks for some extra coverage because um, while it's quite... Um, while I don't put much on my face, it does really thin out and kind of really give some good coverage. And I'm also putting that around my eyes. Um, just on the corners of my eyes, just where I get a little bit of, um, not darkness, but like a, like a mark. Um, and then I just pad that in and I'm having a water break, clearly. It's thirsty work, this blending. And then I'm going in with my Tarte... Um, <laughs> I'm wondering whether it's focusing and it's not. Um, my Tarte Smooth Operator um, Loose Powder. And I'm putting that in my T-zone and under my eyes. Um, kind of everywhere really just to set my makeup. And then I'm going in with my uh, Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. And I'm just contouring my cheeks. Or my cheekbones I should say. And I'm using a Real Techniques, um, I think this was the Brush Crush collection. Um, and I'm just contouring quite lightly the sides of my nose. I'm, I'm not really into like heavy contour on my nose. I'm not really into much product on my nose to begin with just because it doesn't seem to sit very well there. So I kind of put as little as I can as possible there. And I'm going in with my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, um, just all over the perimeters of my face just to kind of bronze my skin up a bit and then I'm going in with my Laura Geller um, I think it's like a baked foundation um, so it's and it's in the shade deep so it's quite dark for me so I kind of use it as a bronzer but it does have a bit of um, coverage to it because it is a foundation and then I'm using a big fluffy brush and I'm going in with that butter bronzer um, again and I'm just kind of putting in a like a shadow into the crease of my eye, um, kind of as a transition shade. Then I'm going in with a Bare Minerals blush. I can't remember the colour, but it will be down in the description for you. It's a loose um, blush. And then I'm going in with my Tartlet in Bloom palette. And I think I'm going in with um, Smarty Pants and the colour above that. I can't remember the names. Um, and that's going in the crease as well where that bronzer was and then I'm going in with Rebel on the outer V and kind of building that up um, and I think I go back in with a um, mixture of Smarty Pants, Rebel, Activist um, like kind of mo mainly the darker shades just to kind of build up that outer V and I also take Rebel um, which is kind of a ready toned eyeshadow um, along my lower lash line. And I think I just continue to kind of blend that all out. And then I go in with a flat brush and the kind of gold shimmery colour and I put that on my um, most of my lid um, just to add a bit of sparkle. Then I go in with my Sephora a waterproof eye pencil in tiramisu this is a matte pencil um i think it was about eight euros seven or eight euros um it's amazing it's so so good it's one of the best eyeliners i've ever used 
Um, I had to buy it in Paris because obviously we don't have Sephora in the UK. Um, so I'm lining my upper water line and um, making a, a small line but no wing um, along the top lash line. And then I'm just taking some more of that dark eyeshadow and just kind of blending into it and kind of building once more just to kind of smoke it out a bit more. And then I'm curling my eyelashes and then I'm going in with my Tarte um, Lights Camera Flashes, I think, or Lights Camera Lashes, I think. Um, and doing two coats to just really build up my lashes. And um, I kind of then just do like a, a smattering on my lower lashes because they're hard to see. So I just kind of smatter them on and hope for the best. Then I comb through my brows and I use this uh, Benefit Goof Proof, Goof Proof Brow Pencil and I just um, fill in any sparse areas and kind of define the head of the brow and the tail um, a bit more. They're not, they're not too bad on their own but especially with this look they could use with some definition um, just to bring the whole look together. Um, I quite like this product, um, it's new to me, um, but I'm not sure when I, when it's finished whether I'll rebuy it, I haven't really used it long enough to kind of make a judgement on that. And then I'm going in with a Rimmel, um, Rimmel eyebrow gel, um, again this is a new product to me, it's nice. Um, I think it's better than the Max Factor one I was using. <laughs> There's me wondering whether it's focusing again. Um, I'm just outlining my lips um, with this new lipstick that I got. It's from Maybelline. It's one of their Superstay ink crayons in the shade Lead the Way. Um, I saw Chloe Morello use it on her YouTube channel. Uh, not her YouTube channel, on her Instagram. So I thought I'd give it a go. So I'm just putting that round the primitives of my lips and then I'm going in with um, a Chanel lipstick in Adrienne and then this is, that's where I realised I haven't put highlighter on so I'm going in with my Becca C Pop um, highlighter I'm pretty sure this is what Champagne Pop was but have they renamed it C Pop? I don't know um, so I'm just putting that obviously on my cheekbones, down my nose and on my cupid's bow. I also put a little bit above the very arch of my brow just to kind of lift and bring some light to my face. Then I struggle with my curling iron and then I separate my hair and find the parting. And then I uh, take the smaller part and just clip that out of the way whilst I deal with the majority of my hair and curl that. Um, I have cut out quite a lot of this just because it is quite repetitive but just thought I'd show you how I, I wrap it round the barrel and hold it kind of in place and then I let it drop. Um, I find it quite tricky to do the back. Um, I don't know why, I think it's just because I can't see it that well. Um, but yeah, I just go through and um, go in the same direction away from my face. And then, yeah, one side's done. And then I move on to the next one. See, that that piece isn't quite as um, curled, which I don't mind. I don't mind some being a little bit looser than the others. And I also kind of wiggle the hair up and down the eye and just to kind of kind of break up the curl so it's not quite so uniform it's a little bit kind of it's got a lot of movement to it so I finished curling my hair and I'm just going to pop in some dry shampoo this is from chlorine and then I'm just going to brush through and spray with some tresemme hairspray just to keep it in place and that's it and that is my finished hair. It's actually grown quite a lot since I got it cut. Um, but I don't mind it at this length actually. It's not too bad. So yeah, that's just me fiddling with it, trying to get it perfect. And yeah, that is the final look. Hope you enjoy.